All right. So we're getting deep into it. We got the brake pulled apart here. Get a shadow with that. Back brake looks like. A little bit better lighting. We've got the big garage door open in the back. What? No. Gonna pull that straight out. Got everything greased up. Try to break loose. Had to use the uh, bolt method. Take that. It's frozen on there pretty good. You kind of see that rusted up a little bit. Alright, guys. Uh, here. Been at it for a few hours. Got the new uh, rear strut it's in. This is the uh, driver's side. Got it about done. New uh, uh, parking brake hardware, new rotor on there, new brake pads, old caliper. We did the seals and stuff. We did the uh, slides. And let's see if we get it in there. The sway bar link on this side, already done. So it's pretty good. Now you got to check on that uh, parking brake. Once you get this all together, make sure everything's good to go. We got to bleed it. Still need to do the torque, but uh, it's definitely an adventure. Although not too crusty, we did have some things that kind of stuck a little bit. Uh, let's swing around. We've done uh, some blaster, some penetrant, trying to get in here. We haven't really dug down to the front side yet, but we're prepping for it. The other side. See how that strut comes. But we got a new tool. Picked it up the other day. I've done a few struts in the past. Had some struggles. So got a new this strut down here. Still got this one apart. I'll pull that break out. But it's a little trying to do a lesson, teaching Ryan a little bit about the process. So just had some lunch. And this side it's gonna be Ryan's to get done. And the sway bar links already done there. So check on the job. Rear struts, rear end links. And that's about the only thing we've got to say we can have fully accomplished so far. But there's the mobile mess. There's everything we brought to bring that take us on the mobile side. No, not the ditch witch. We're uh, able to get this done at cousin of Julie's. So, uh, the mobile mess, like I said, took care of business. Now, here's the new tool we picked up. It's a spring compressor we got from Harbor Freight. I tell you what, that worked awesome. I'll try to catch some video of it when we do the uh, front br front struts. But I tell you what, that worked beautiful. Now, I've read some people talking about complaints and stuff. They don't like it. We've had some problems with them, but I can tell you, just like with the grappler, they say make sure you oil that screw. So, of course, being an AMS oil guy, I do uh, put some uh, severe gear 70W90 on there, and that worked awesome. So, catch some video of that when we do the uh, front struts. But it's time to get that back to business. Okay, so, I'm so parking brake of the Subarus, typical in this configuration. This happens to be the 2000 Subaru Outback that we've been working on. And uh, morons we encountered. Yeah, I'm a moron. Found out uh, there's a lot of us feel this way. Because if you see this, this is the adjuster, parking brake adjuster. If you think like we did that's what it looked like when you took it off because it's covered with brake dust and crud that's wrong you're a moron like i am and there's many of us out there this actually that'll happen too don't worry if you don't drop that a thousand times you did it wrong goes up here on the braking brake shoe bracket 
so it would rest like that up there not down here and once, the once it's you, on the symptom that you had it on wrong the symptom when you try to put the rotor the rotor on you notice without it on there it slides right on if you go to put it on you get it about right there and you have to pull out a BFH to get it on that's wrong because I have a mower on and I pulled out the BFH the BFH always gets the out pulled out by a moron but if it's on properly it'll be in more there and in line for this the rotor to slide right on so let's go ahead and see if we can't do that every moron tries, every moron tries. even if you're allergic to peanuts a peanut gallery will not cause any harm. <laughs> what you need? Uh, I was going to try to find a, something to pry this out. So I can get this on. No. So, see, get down under there, that is what it should look like. It's locked in the right spot, locked in there, and poof, <laughs> no hammer. All right, folks, yeah, we got some choppy video from before, but uh, here it is. See, kind of catch that angle there. That's a cat trying to catch a bird. But uh, get the fresh suspension in there. Set up. See, it's got about another inch and a half in those wheel wells, it looks like. But it's pretty rough shape. Oil, AMS oil, 5W30 signature series. Change out the transmission fluid as well. Severe gear, 7590. Rear differential back air. Severe gear, full synthetic AMS oil products, 7590 as well. New brakes, front and rear. Took care of business. Now check this out. Hey, Ren, you want to come here and show how bad these uh, struts were? Oh, these were the originals. <clears throat> Pretty sure these were factory original. Check that out. Pull it out. Might fall down on its own. Yeah, absolutely none. And oh, <laughs> nothing coming back. And check out one of the rears. Those were in pretty rough shape as well. A little bit more resistant. A little bit more resistant. And nothing. Oh, 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 it's oh trying. pull it. Yeah, it's struggling. All right, so. I think it was a, a well intended action we took there. But yeah, kind of the old brakes, probably the rotors could have been turned, put back to use, but we went ahead and put everything new in there. Uh, front wheel bearings, front hubs, took care of business there. Tell you what, got some new tools, tried them out, and uh, that really took care of this project a lot quicker. Uh, new front uh, ball joints as well. So, should be running pretty good. See you. Uh